Hi, my name is Rich and I'd like to introduce you to a brand new tool to the heating and air conditioning industry. Okay, so what we have here is a draft simulator. It was designed and developed by seasoned heating and air conditioning service technicians with a goal in mind to improve accuracy during diagnostics. Today, I'm going to show you how to use this on a Linux furnace, but it really doesn't matter what brand furnace you use it on. Pressure switches are pretty much the same on every furnace. This is the pressure switch we're going to be testing today. It has a 0.20 rating. We're going to take our leads, plug them into the front jacks of the tool. It does not matter which lead gets plugged into which jack. We're going to take our hoses and we're going to plug them into the top ports of the tool. It does not matter which one goes into which port either. We're going to take the leads and we're going to hook them up to the common and normally open terminals on the pressure switch. We're going to take one of the hoses and we're going to hook that up to the pressure switch. Next, we take the other hose and hook it up to a digital manometer. We're going to turn the pressure switch tool on and we're going to slowly turn the dial while we're paying attention to the indicator and the readings. What we're doing now is increasing the pressure, paying attention to the manometer and the light on the tool to see when the pressure switch is closed. The light is on, that means the pressure switch is closed. More importantly now is we're going to decrease the pressure, paying attention to the manometer to see when it will open. The light went off, that means that the pressure switch is now open. We can see that it is 0.18, that is within 10% of the rating on this pressure switch. It is a good pressure switch. Another test that we're going to do is verify that the diaphragm in the switch is good. We note that it did close around the 0.20 and open around the 0.20 settings. We can see that it is still at 0.18. What we're going to do is pinch off the tube going to the pressure switch. Note that the pressures did not change. That is exactly what you want. We know this pressure switch is good. Without the furnace even running, we've been able to accurately test this pressure switch using the draft simulator. Thanks for watching this video. It was a pleasure sharing this tool with you. There's a lot more things you can do with it. My favorite is calibrating adjustable pressure switches.